Does a perfect car exist? You can't immediately say yes and then rattle off a few because there are arguments to be made against any car. But the car I'm in right now is pretty damn compelling in terms of winning the argument. This is the Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo GT. And that name is funny to me, if you know what GTS stands for. It stands for Gran Turismo Sport. It's the sportier middle trim variants of various Porsche models over the years. So the full name of this is the Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo Gran Turismo Sport, which is hilarious. What's not hilarious, and is in fact awesome, is the twin turbocharged V8 engine under the hood. Here in the GTS, that engine makes 453 horsepower and 457 pound-feet of torque, and it is wonderful. It delivers all of that power out to all four wheels via the absolutely amazing 8-speed PDK gearbox. Now, it's rear-biased, of course, so most of the time you are running in rear-wheel drive, and it sends power to the front as needed. Now, this one is also fitted with Porsche's torque vectoring system. It has rear axle steering. Basically, it drives much smaller than it has any right to be dancing through corners and doing all kinds of crazy crap. The steering feel is perfect. The throttle response is excellent. The comfort when you're in normal mode is comfortable. This has adjustable suspension and there is a clear spread between normal sport and sport plus and then you can put it into an individual mode and fine tune it how you want. I have it in sport plus right now because that's the most important mode for the car. Now, if you need even more than Sport Plus, there's a button in the middle of this mode selector right here that gets it into Sport Response Mode for 20 seconds. It keeps the gear, the gears keep the tack, the revs, in between 3,000 and 6,000 RPM. It's basically in attack mode, and it'd be best used on track situations. Um, if you take this to the track, first of all, if you buy a Sport Turismo, you're a hero. Uh, there's someone I'm friends with on Instagram who bought one of these because of my recommendation, at least that's what they tell me, and they are officially an enthusiast hero. Now, if you take one of these to the track, you've elevated yourself above and beyond that. You don't need to, though, because this is just such a perfect, wonderful machine on a daily basis. Big-ass, wide wheels and tires, massive brakes on the GTS, 15-inch rotors up front, 14 inch rotors out back. This one is wearing the optional carbon ceramic composite braking system, which is insane overkill for a vehicle like this. And it adds about $8,000 to the price. However, I mean, if you do want to take it to the track, those are the brakes to have. And I think Porsche people love the ceramics uh, on resale. So consider that. Uh, and I'm really curious how these are going to do in the secondary market, if the price is just going to fall off a cliff or if they're going to be remained unicorn elusive pricing and it's going to keep the pricing high. I don't know. I'm very curious though. Now speaking of the price, this one specifically, the GTS starts at $130,000, about 132 dollars I believe to be super precise. Um, this one as tested because it's a Porsche and it's got tons of options, not a ton of options actually, but I mean, those, the brakes I mentioned. This one's 157. Tons of money, tons of money. And it is not even close to the most expensive one. The, the, there's the turbo. So there's two levels above this one and there's two levels below this one. There's a V6 one, I believe, that I don't see a lot of people buying that one. Um, I think it makes 350 horse, which is great. There's the one we've tested before, which is the 4S, which makes 440 horse. Fantastic. The GTS steps things up. It drops the chassis by, it, you sit 10 mil, the suspension sits 10 millimeters lower. Um, you get blacked out elements. There's some sport design stuff. You get sport chrono as standard, which is a nice add-on. 
buttons so you can keep track of your lap times and all that good stuff. So this one, the 4S was 440, this one's 453. There's a turbo, which is 550. And it's funny because they're all turbos, but the turbo. And then there's the Turbo SE Hybrid, which is, um, I mean, I really want to drive one of those, but that is the ultimate unicorn version. 680 horsepower. Ridiculous. Starts at 192,000. Insane. And you know, it's anybody who buys that spending two plus because you need to have various options because it's a Porsche. Porsche. It's a Porsche. It's made everybody angry. It's a Porsche. So this one, back to the GTS specifically, this one has mamba green metallic paint on the outside which is awesome that porsche offers this color of course you can go exclusive and if i'm paying this much for a car i think i would go with an exclusive color just to make it stand out a little bit more it's a lot more money but you're already spending tons of money so you could probably afford it um, but this mamba green metallic looks awesome it actually looks better when there's less light on it because i i like it when it looks like a darker green versus the the brighter green it is out in the sun regardless no matter where you look at it it looks awesome it stands out and then the black treatment on top of the green uh, looks awesome especially on the roof the rear spoiler and then that spoiler is active um, you can keep it up like a popped collar like a douche if you want it up at all times i don't recommend that just let it do its thing it stays down until you need it um, for added stability i if you open the sunroof it'll raise to help reduce noise in the cabin which is kind of badass but it'll go up and down and it can provide up to 110 pounds of downforce on that rear axle. I've been driving around in this thing all week. My, my daughter loves the car, We've got the car seat back there. She did not want to come along on this review unlike the Audi S8 we just posted. Um, I was a little bummed about that because I wanted to get her opinion on this car, but I can tell you that she likes it. She likes the color. She likes that it's fast, all that good stuff. And it is fast and it's comfortable and it's fantastic. Much like when I reviewed the 4S, I was, I was blown away by how much I enjoyed that vehicle. I'm not some Porsche, crazy Porsche person, you know. Um, they're out there, they're vocal, they love their cars. It's Porsche or not, the Porsche's the best for them. I get it. You drive one, you go, okay, these are really good. With the Sport Turismo 4S, I immediately fell in love. It took no time at all for me to go, oh my God, I need one of these in my life. And now it's it's just that much more so with the GTS. The, the GTS is excellent. It's, it's more of the sporting engagement. Porsche would like me to use the word dynamic here, but it's true. It is a bit more dynamic than the 4S. And then I love that in normal mode or individual mode, in individual specifically, I can put the uh, exhaust into sport mode and this comes standard with the sport exhaust. exhaust into sport mode and then keep the suspension relaxed so when my family's in here and it's quiet in here so you can kind of tune out the exhaust there's no droning it's not too much crack the windows a little bit hear it when you let off on throttle you get some pops not too much it's it's really just it's perfect i it's it's i'm getting back to my opening my opening argument here your honor um this is about as close as you can get to a perfect vehicle the knock against this one comes with the fact that you can't take it off-road. Uh, so so it can't do everything. It can do a lot. It can do your daily driver duties perfectly. It can look gorgeous parked outside of the office or, the, or somewhere if you want to show off. It, it just looks amazing. Um, you could take this to the track and do very very well there and then the top speed of this is 179 miles an hour the sedan version the panamera sedan is 181 it gets a few more of the mph's at the top end i don't care about that i will concede the top end to the sedan because the, the sport turismo is so much cooler zero to 60 on this if you're using launch control per porsche is 3.9 seconds i would not be shocked if all of the buff books test this and say eh, it's a little faster than that it's it's i i i did fall in love with the 4S. I am in absolute lust with the GTS. This is just such a perfect, perfect car. Okay, let's go. I have to be careful here out on the Hooniverse Highway Hooning Ground today because
because idiots are in full force. Usually, usually Ortega Highway is full of the idiots, and I'm on South Divide. Today, I turned a corner on South Divide and saw 15 cars stopped in the middle of the road for an impromptu photo shoot. You guys can go f yourselves, because that is stupid. Go find a parking lot. Shouldn't even be standing next to each other because we're social distancing, remember?